Green STEM project has been about engaging teachers in producing resources that are very linked to green technology issues. And the purpose of the resources has been to engage youngsters in more exciting technology, science and mathematical situations where we hope a greater degree of learning will take place. We know from experience that teachers are looking to develop green technologies in the classroom, so this project has given teachers an opportunity to do that with appropriate funding to make it happen. This project's about science, technology, engineering and maths, and one of the key drivers for us being involved is the fact that those are skills that are so important to the future workforce of the region. It's incredibly important that we have well numerate um, young people and that we really attract more young people to um, develop technology and engineering skills. It's clear that there's a large shortage of youngsters coming out of education with uh, enthusiasm for science and other technological careers and something we need to address across Humberside. The Green Stem has been set up to address that. Following the development of the initial resources, teachers have had the opportunity to disseminate their resources through training sessions which have been funded by Yorkshire Forward. And each teacher's worked on the premise of training 30 teachers, so across the region, but there's quite a large number of dissemination activities taking place there. There is within schools loan boxes for history um, and uh, they allow schools to experience you know, rare or expensive you know, artefacts that a school couldn't normally uh, have access to. Uh, and I felt it was a good idea to have uh, a similar range of uh, resources, activities, handling collection um, pieces uh, centred around renewable energy. Uh, and to that end, Yorkshire Forward provided money for me to get together a collection of resources and actually to design a portable energy storage or energy harnessing device utilising wind and solar power. This week we've got Sustainability Week, um, so it's an ideal opportunity for us to use this lesson, uh, which is part of the Green STEM project. And the children out here at the moment, they're measuring uh, light readings, measuring wind readings. As you can see today, we've got quite a lot of clouds, so the light levels are changing, the wind's quite changeable. And the idea uh, of this is then they're deciding where's the best location to put this energy harvester. And it's just to get over to the idea of some, perhaps some of the limitations, some of the problems associated with uh, renewable energy sources and some of the decisions that have to be made, particularly when uh, they're looking at planning permission uh, and best places to locate um, alternative energy sources. We're watching some of uh, our students that took uh, part in, a, in an engineering club uh, that was actually designed as part of a green stem agenda and the, uh, the project was loosely based on wind turbines so the pupils were actually looking at uh, how many wind turbines we would need to actually put in our county to actually generate the energy that, uh, that we need to generate using renewable sources. We were looking at wind turbines and all, everything about them, about the efficiency and how they were made and everything. We did lots of research and found out where wind turbines were going to be in our area and we researched them as well. And we basically just dug deeper into the North Lincolnshire Council information to find out as much as we could. And we put it all together in a folder work and tried to get a crest award, a silver crest award, which we all got. And then Zoe and her dad made this yeah. wind turbine. Um, it's made of mahogany, and so there's going to be three blades all together. And it's kind of really hard to make. You've got to mark it all off, because it's for 3D got to try and draw it on 3D and then we used a draw knife to smooth it all out. We've got the shape at the end and yeah it's really hard to make. It took days. The higher it gets, yeah. the power is produced. But, uh, if you get it to 25, it doesn't spare. Speaking to the young people I teach, not just, just these young people but, but all of them, every one of, of the young people fully subscribe to the wind turbines, they think they look lovely. It tends to be the older generation that are a little bit unsure. If you start early enough with children then they just find it something extra and fun and, and it, was, it, you know, it involves them thinking and they're extremely good at thinking. So I'm the head of learning, so that encompasses working with children and young people, right up to elderly people who have just have an interest in buildings and sustainability and you know the built environment. They're very keen to recycle. They're more keen, I find, you know, in sustainable issues than some adults.
The car project at Cottingham High School, the Shell Eco Marathon, has been a very interesting one. Natalie's taken the Green Stem idea and used it to bolster up an existing activity, which does add a lot of strength in itself. Uh, the students engaged in the Shell Eco Marathon are very motivated. The size of that project isn't something that we could have developed purely under Green Stem, so it's interesting that Green Stem has been used to enhance that one through providing time for the teachers to develop further resources to make sure that the, the students get a greater degree of learning takes place and hopefully they can have a greater de degree of success. There's work which we developed with science where we're talking about petrol, um, oil extraction and the way that that works. Um, the, within maths we've got calculations we've got in there for the calculating fuel efficiency of different vehicles. So there's actually a lot more to it. We've also, it's also enabled us to buy some um, of the, the kits that show how an engine works so the students can put those together and work out how it works because obviously we can't take our own engine apart as such. So so, um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's really developed, the, the, the initial project has developed massively so that now it is a, an more of an educational project than a fun project as it was before. Drives fine, because well, some of the cars at the competition had the one wheel at the front instead. Trying next time, be, uh, being able to turn off the engine going around the track because we couldn't this time, so if the engine's on then we use a lot more fuel. There's loads of opportunities, and particularly in this um, particular area of the country, Humber, loads of opportunities for emerging new technologies, uh, particularly um, green technologies, to take, to take place. So it's crucial that we get the, the skills um, to make sure that those jobs come to this area and that those, those employers can service the, the workforce that they need. And that's what fires up young people, if they can actually see a reason for the science, the maths, the technology, then in fact, you know, it spurs them on, they, they get excited by it, they can see a reason for it and, and therefore, you know, possibly want to go down that avenue. I think it's a project that Yorkshire Forward has invested in because it, they see it as a future backbone of the economy in this area. We have to hang our hat on something and the Green Stem for the Future project is a way of saying this is the future of the economy of the area and it's important that we start working with youngsters early in the schools. It's a fantastic resource for them to use. It's, they engage in it a lot more uh, than they would if we were just talking about it with PowerPoints and stuff like that, videos. I mean, we can use, we use all these multimedia things, we use the technology in school, but using you know, the real, so they can get their hands on it, really feel and really get an idea for the technology uh, and, and the, sort of the choices that have to be made using it at this practical level is much better than, and it really does engage students a lot more.